So one of the principles in the book is what I call fight and unite. It's the idea when you have a meeting, you need to have a very productive debate. And once you've had that, you need to unite behind decisions. So if you apply that idea to the process of brainstorming, it provides more structure on the brainstorming. So for example, when you start off and you have a meeting, the first thing you want to do to have a great debate is to make sh ask the question, do we have the right people in the room? And by right, I mean, do we have a diverse group of people? Because without diversity, you don't have a diversity of opinions. And you can't have a great debate if everybody's thinking the same at the outset. So you need a diversity of perspectives in the room. So once you got that diversity in the room, and by diversity I mean people from different parts of the company, people that are young, all men, women, different ethnicity, foreigners, uh, non-foreigners, I mean all kinds of diverse diversity. Once you got that, you need to have a good fight. What is a good fight? A good fight is about asking productive questions and making sure that everyone in the room get a chance to speak up and making sure that everyone in the room is, produ is practicing active listening. Because you, need, you really need to listen to someone's idea and to build on that idea. If you're just sitting in a room and just advocating for your own point of view over and over and you're not really listening, then you might as well just have a monologue. But a meeting is not about having monologues. It's about that productive debate. Now you're having a productive debate. And out of that, you're getting everybody's input in a diverse group, and you're building on each other's ideas. That should produce high quality outcomes. Once you've done that, you need to make a decision. Either because the group is converging on a consensus, or the senior leader in the room calls it. And once that decision has been made, you need to apply the principle of uniting. In other words, everybody's behind the decision. There is no point of having a good fight and then everybody disagree and then they go out and do their own thing. You've got to unite at the end of it. And that means that after the meeting, it is not okay to walk around in the hallway in the corridors of the company and start questioning the decision made or undermining it or even worse, appealing the decision to some other senior person who was not in a meeting and trying to get it overturned because you didn't like the way it was going, right? That kind of politicking is not okay. You gotta be behind the decision made. Once you are done that, you are now practicing fight and unite. And that is far better than a brainstorm that doesn't go anywhere because you had a brainstorm that was maybe too loose, too unorganized, and no decision was made and you're not moving forward.